Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back, Welcome back to the channel. the channel. Remember, sorry. It's all right. Not hit that right. subscribe button. Turn on the post notifications. If you like this video, remember, give it thumbs up because we really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate the likes. Because it means a lot to us. Mm. So in today's video we are going to do a relationship q and q q q q and a relationship q and a um we've never done one of these before so comment if you want to see more videos like this or comment what videos you would like to see instead of this mm. either way get commenting let's go um, so let's start with i'm gonna do a question and then ben's gonna do a question but we're both gonna answer each question because otherwise like that just makes more sense doesn't it apparently okay ask me ask me ask me ask me what do you think is your best quality my best quality would be um my best quality or your best quality? My, like your, my best your quality. My quality. best quality. Is it, what, is it physical or is it... It's just anything. Mental or... Mental. <laughs> my best quality. Hmm. I quite like my lips. I think any what? girl would be quite happy to have my lips. <laughs> what? Yeah. That is such a weird thing to say. Stop staring at yourself on camera, Ben. That's such a weird one. My best quality is my positivity and happiness. I didn't know we were doing that. I thought it was like, <laughs> like, like facial features or something. <laughs> is there anything you've ever, you've always wondered about me but hesitated to ask? Um, it's a tough question, that isn't it? Why have I ever wondered anything about you? Hmm. No, I think we know everything about each other, don't we? Yeah, and to be fair, like, if I have a question, like, exactly. it doesn't really take me that long to ask. Yeah. Like, what, what reason would you have to not ask it? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, what was your first impression of me? Uh, well, very attracted to you from the start. Um, first impression, you were, like, you were quite quiet and quite shy i am but quite a shy person. i think when like you were the sort of person who opened up a lot like when <laughs> you start to know them <laughs> yeah like you're really loud now <laughs> to me which is great but you used to do a lot different than you were at the start yeah i've, I've got to answer this one because i think this is actually really interesting so when i first met ben he was like a lot older than me. I'm still the same. I'm yeah, the, the same, same age, gap. but like I was like 17 and I think you were like... I was 20. 20, 20. I just turned 20. Just turned 20. I was anyway, 19. So it was like quite a big age difference for like the age, if that makes sense. And like I think, like I thought you were like a proper player. Like I thought you were going to like, you were just like, you were just doing it with like everyone. Like you were just like, hey guys. But actually like knowing what i know now like you just really liked me mm. we might have been a player i don't actually know that i'm just mm. assuming what i've got but yeah mm. you're a little angel now aren't you yeah okay uh, how did the relationship start um it started uh basically <laughs> i uh, we worked together and lifeguarding and we used to, <coughs> Choke, we used to talk so a lot we used to talk a lot and On shift. i really enjoyed our conversations and Actually, i got a buzz for fun fact i was a swimming teacher and he was the like the life yeah. so we used to chat yeah teaching lifeguard yeah we actually got into trouble yeah we did yeah but like but so time. i got like this buzz from messaging her and then i used we just used to like talk all the time and just message and stuff and then i was brave enough to um ask her out to the cinema and she said no 
quite a lot of times. I just basically kept asking, kept asking, kept asking, kept going. It's on the edge. Until one line. day she was like, oh yeah, we'll go as friends. And then we went as friends. Um, I never looked But back. I knew like, you know, I knew what that meant. I knew it didn't mean friends. Well, you should really take what I say to be true, to be honest. Yeah, but you shouldn't be like, oh, she's gone as friends. But yeah, we went as friends and then we went again and then we went again. And then, and then yeah. we just kept going. We actually then... went bowling after that. Yeah, we did. We went quite a few places. And then ice skating. Yeah. And then to the cinema. And then bowl. that just used to be our rotation. Yeah. And then, and then, and then we got together after about three weeks of that. Question. Can I ask this one? Do you feel the same way you felt for your partner at the beginning of the relationship? Uh... I feel a lot more. No, yeah, I feel loads more. I don't actually think really. Because obviously, like, at the start of the relationship, I was still a bit hesitant and a bit like, oh, well, I'm not sure. But, like, now, like, I'm completely settled. Yeah. And, like, very comfortable with my feelings. Oh, I'm comfortable, so. Is it really necessary to know everything from your partner's previous relationship? Yes, absolutely, because you learn from them. Like, if that person's gone through that situation, like, whatever the situation is, is you you need to understand that to understand, like, why they act a certain way in your relationship. So, for example, like, say your partner had been cheating on, cheated on before and you weren't, you like they were very i don't know say that they were very insecure in your relationship then the reason they're insecure in your relationship is because they've been cheated on in the past and it helps for you to understand that and to know that because then you understand why they feel that way because they've explained it to you but if you didn't you'd be like oh you're just being dead pushy and dead controlling and dead freaked out but because mm. you've not had that conversation and you don't understand that or you feel a bit hesitant to, mm. like, it just explains a lot of your per your partner's, like... Yeah, I get why you think... You, I get understand that, but I don't think it's that important, to be honest. I think, like, it has to be, like... I, I think you should I think you should judge someone on what, what you see and, like, what you... Like, how they are with you and, like, if they've had like relationships before that haven't worked out or whatever like you don't know the full story yeah and i know like you might want to find out but like it doesn't it doesn't change like if, if you say you've been in a relationship with someone for like 10 years and everything was perfect and everything was like amazing like it shouldn't matter to you that like something happened like in a previous relationship before that like that yeah, and I also think, like, a good key point here is, like, say, like, your partner was insecure and, like, from the previous relationship because they'd been cheated on or whatever. Like, that's not going to change. I've never like, been cheated on by that. No, I know. You're just saying it as, just, as, as, as an if, example. As if I have. Like, if, if, like, that partner's personality has changed in terms of a relationship, then, like, that's not going to change overnight. Like, that's going to be something you're going to have to put up with, like, permanently. So you have to... You have to base your opinion off the person that they are now. And if that past relationship has changed them, then that's changed them. Like, there's nothing nothing they can do about that. And there's nothing you can do about that either. So you still mm. you either have to embrace it or you have to, like, whether, like... Because the story, I guess, doesn't really affect... It's only about what, like, is happening right now, mm. this second, yeah. and in the future. Yeah. Uh, will you say sorry to your partner even though it's not your fault? Yes. No! I will. No, you. Yeah, no, you will. I will. But you I won't. won't. No. I refuse to do that. So if Ben says sorry. I'll be like, for example, I'll be like. Yeah, but I have to say. I banged my elbow, and he'd be like. Yeah. Sorry. I have to say sorry so we can move on. Right, no. because because no 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 right it, a lot of the lot of the it, like some issues that we've had like what I've done is I've left it and been like do you know what I'm gonna like just see like, if, like how long it takes her to say sorry and like we can go days and she just isn't going to do it and i know for for me to keep you know for, I, I know for for, for the best think... possible life i have to say sorry the what what's the wife thing happy wife happy life yeah but it shouldn't shouldn't it's be like that phrase, really we are working on it yeah i think like I will I will say sorry when I feel I should or can say sorry, no. if that makes sense. Like, if I feel like the fault has been... 
Well, yeah, but you never me. feel. The problem is you never feel. Like but that. I never do anything wrong. Right. But it's always Ellie, you. We've ben, been together okay? for two and a half years, right? You, I've you apologized. must have done something wrong in that two and a half years. I think I've apologized three times. So you, you've done three things wrong. How many things have I done wrong? It's endless. Yeah, I, exactly. I never, I never. Let me think. Do anything example. wrong? No. Do you know what happens? Right. Do you know what happens? So like, we'll have an argument. Say sorry. I'll apologize. And then she'll be like, mm, whatever. And then, like, an hour later, she'll be like, I'm really sorry. You know, it was my fault. I won't do that again. Like, that doesn't hold. That doesn't, that, you don't get credit for that. I've already apologised. Do you know what I mean? Sorry. Last question. The last question, Ben, is... <laughs> Are you thinking about having a baby? <laughs> Are you thinking about getting married? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But not yet. Obviously not yet. How like, old am I? How old am I? Nineteen. No, we've had that discussion. You're twenty-two. Twenty-two. We've had that discussion, early. and we're both on we're the ready, same page. We're ready for it in the future. We would like very much like children. to do that, but. Not a minute. I don't. I, I want to live a bit first. Like I want to go on holiday and I want to like embrace the youth. Yeah. I, don't I think have if a baby I had a now. wife, I'd just feel really old. Yeah, like it's just like I, don't it, feel old. I feel like it ages you. I feel like we're still a bit young yet. Like people do do it. And obviously, like, to have, yeah, yeah, go on. younger and like people have children younger and that sometimes like like I know lots of people who've had like babies younger and like got married younger and like that's like that's what they need like sometimes things aren't planned but like th they, they fit their life around it and that works perfectly for them so like i don't think it's necessarily like we're too young in terms of like our physical age but like in terms of like <sighs> our relationship like we've been together two years but like i'd like a couple more years on that and then i'd like to like I've still got a lot to do, do you know what I mean? Like, mm. I, like I feel like children and marriage, like, ties you down a lot. Mm. And, like, I'm not saying, like, I'm not ready to be tied down, but, like, <laughs> but, like, I just feel like there's a lot of living left to do and, like... Yeah. Like, if you're married, you have to have a house together or, like... Yeah. Like, it should be the next few steps and... Yeah, no, no, I don't... I, I don't have enough money to yeah. buy a house, never mind, but... To, to yeah. buy my my lunch. <laughs> yeah, I might if we if I win my my bet today. Yeah, he's got a little bit. What's it? Super, Super six. six. Anyone that does it will know. <laughs> um, you know, it's a lottery, but you know, if I do, if we do win, I'll, I'll we'll obviously buy we'll a find house. out. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a little video on yeah. it if he wins. Yeah. But if he doesn't, you won't hear nothing. Yeah, no, I was praying, <laughs> praying that I win. So, guys, thank you for watching our vlog. vlog. We've got some very, very, very exciting, well, a very exciting up. vlog coming up. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and let's just say we're getting out and about. We are. We've got some little secrets up our sleeve. So, you've got to hit that subscribe button, subscribe to our channel, and we shall see you in the next vlog.